long story short, for those who are just tuning in, uh, the furnace upgrades are pretty much the same, although now the ore processing upgrade uh, no longer doubles the output of everything that you put in the furnace, which I think is probably a pretty good thing, all things considered. Like, that would have been crazy powerful, especially for some of, like, the more expensive stuff um, that you could double. Uh, but they've also added new upgrades, as you can see here, uh, I'm Slayers pointed out in the chat there. If we go to the at furnace overhaul mod, if I can spell furnace correctly, uh, you'll see there are now a couple new upgrades, which is always nice. They've got the electric fuel upgrade, which uses FE um, instead of solid fuel, which is pretty good. I think FE is just another form of RF. So I think that's just allowing it to use redstone flux um, as opposed to like solid fuel sources, which is pretty useful. Uh, there are also now speed upgrades, which is really nice. I do kind of want to look into uh, making one of these in today's episode just to see uh, how much of a speed upgrade it will give to our already fairly fast furnace like we are already at the tier 4 emerald furnace there with a cook time of uh, 60 ticks or so three seconds so uh, interested to see how much of an increase that gives and then finally the big new upgrade for the furnace overhaul mod is the processing upgrade which as you can see is kind of expensive right like <laughs> compared to the upgrade that we have which is the oil processing upgrade this thing's pretty expensive and this does what the oil processing upgrade used to do which is it doubles the output of everything that you put in the furnace which is kind of crazy and so i'm hoping we'll get this at some point but almost certainly and uh, not in today's stream and not really anytime soon but that's fine. Um, so between episodes, I've gone ahead and moved some stuff around. I've moved all of our sieves over here. We've still got these iron stiffen meshes uh, in here doing their thing. And I have done a bunch of sifting to get a ton of stuff. It didn't really take that long. Like getting a large amount of resources in this pack is fairly easy to do simply because of the fact that you can just grab a ton of compressed cobblestone from our compacting drawer, throw it all down with a wand, hammer it instantly, and then just craft it back. And you've got like stacks upon stacks of sand or gravel or dust. And so sifting is very easy in this pack, which I'm very happy about. Uh, but one of the things I do want to work on in today's stream is that uh, trying to automate that just a little bit so that we don't have to do it manually uh, going forward. Anyway, <laughs> before we jump into too much stuff here, let me take a quick look at the quest book because we've got a couple of quests. Apparently, uh, we didn't claim at the end of the last stream. So we've got some more RAK which is very nice. Still not quite sure what I want to spend my RAK on. Um, I do quite like opening the loot bags, and we did get some pretty cool stuff uh, in our last loot bag. Specifically, we got a... Um, uh the name is slipping my mind. We got a vacuum chest, I believe it's called, uh, from Ender.io, which we're hopefully going to use in today's stream to try and get ourselves um, a mouse wander up and running. That's going to help us out quite a bit. It is this guy right here, so very useful to have. But then at the same time, we've also, like, we're still, we still want to work towards hopefully trying to get uh, some of the better rewards in the rewards tab here. And you'll notice uh, there are now more rewards than there were previously. We've got a bunch of these uh, totems here, pretty much all of the totems, I think, uh, that you can get. Uh, the ones that we're really interested in are... To some extent, the night vision, but really the one that I kind of desperately want to get is the uh, flight one. But 768 rack is kind of a crazy amount of rack to try and work towards, right? Like, that's that's a lot of rack. More loot chests? Don't gamble, people. I only, I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of, I kind of agree with more loot chests. I really do dig the loot chests, man. I want to get more of them. Go for the high tier loot chests? That's also not a bad idea. Let's have a look here real quick. How expensive are these? So apparently we've got, wait. Oh, is, uh, these are... Mm, okay, I was I was confused a, a second here. I thought we had these ready to claim. Oh, it does say unclaim reward. Can I... Is that just a visual glitch? Why, why is there a bar here? I don't get it. Um, I assume that's just a visual glitch because I think we did claim both of those. I assume they're just blue because we've completed them uh, in the past. But uh, the epic loot chest is 40 RAK. And then I think it's like 80 and... A random one is 60. That's expensive, right, for a random loot chest. Considering that the lowest tier is only five RAK, and I'm assuming that you can get a uh, uh, like a standard low tier loot chest with this 60 RAK. That's kind of crazy. Like that's <laughs> that's pretty expensive, all things considered. Um, so we don't have any more RAK. The total we've got around is 25. What is the highest tier of loot crate that we can buy with 25 RAK? We can buy this one. We can buy the greater loot chest. Do I want to save up for 40? You don't know. We'll kick start the stream here with one greater loot chest. Let's go ahead and detect slash submit, claim our reward. All right, chat. Hopefully this was worth it. Hopefully my gambling addiction here is not going to bite me in the backside. Boom. We got we got one extract speed upgrade from Ender.io. Oh, we got 15 extract speed upgrades from Ender.io. It's not terrible, and it's going to help us out quite a bit when it comes to uh, speeding up our item conduits from Ender.io. Uh, it does mean that we don't have to make like an alloy smelter to get the um, electrical steel if we want to make our items faster. But 
all things considered, not the greatest reward in the world. Like, I feel like that could have been uh, a little bit better for us there. But uh, nevertheless, if we jump back into the quest book here, um, one of the first quests that I want to complete in today's episode is the auto sifter quest. Now, I've never used these before. I've done a bit of uh, tinkering in like a creative world to see how these work. And we have to make them. They're, they're there for a quest. So we might as well make them and get our RAK and our sound mufflers. I don't think we're going to end up using these long term as a way to automate sifting simply due to the fact that it's extremely slow. <laughs> like once you see these things in action, you will see that they are ludicrously slow, like so incredibly slow that it's almost painful how slow they are. But on the flip side, thankfully, uh, they are fairly cheap to make. So uh, if we go ahead here and look at the recipe for an auto sifter, you'll see to make that we need four stone gears, two hoppers, one stone axle, and then two normal Minecraft pistons. So for the most part, uh, just some iron, stone, wood, and redstone. Uh, we are going to have to go ahead and smelt up some iron here. That is fine. Uh, don't think I need anything else here, actually. I don't think I need any diamonds or lapis, so that is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and shift care those down, throw that in there, make sure that it has uh, a little bit of fuel to keep it going. And then whilst that is smelting up, we'll probably also... Uh, gonna want to get some bonsai pots going real quick here so we have like a nice source of wood we do already have a couple of stacks but i feel like we could burn through that uh, fairly quickly in today's stream here so uh, let me very quickly here see about getting us some more uh, bonsai pots i think for that we are gonna need more clay um i'm actually thinking about putting my own furnace back down as well like although the emerald furnace is significantly faster it might be a terrible idea to throw this guy down as well and maybe look at making another ore processing and efficiency upgrade or at the very least just another ore processing upgrade because again this thing is not super difficult to make you know and it would allow us to kind of have two things going at once which i think is going to be quite nice for us here so let's grab some uh, glowstone real quick let's also grab uh, we've also already got like a bunch of blaze powder here so you know what real quick i'm getting inside i'm getting like i'm getting off on a tangent real quick here but i want to do a bit more work on our furnaces oh the uh, quartz is what i need real quick let me grab some of the quartz it's not in there because it's not gathered from sifting we got it from the nether so there it is nice let's do a quick old craft like this um do i want to get i'll get two of those because i kind of want to get a another ore processing upgrade and i also want to try and get a speed upgrade as well so at furnace let's grab one of you and let's also grab one of you now my main question here is can you put in more than one speed upgrade Oh, that's quite fast, right? That's pretty quick. So, like, normally it takes three seconds, right? It takes 60 ticks, so three seconds. That's like one, two, three. Sure. And then that goes down to, like, maybe one and a half, maybe two seconds. That's quite an improvement, though. That's pretty nice. And it's also not particularly expensive, honestly. So, you know what? Sure, we'll throw that in there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and very quickly here make another speed upgrade just because it was so easy to make in the first place. Uh, so let me grab some more iron, which now remembering is in here. I kind of wish, given that these furnaces are transparent, I kind of wish you could see what's going on in the furnace. Like, I think it'd be pretty neat if there was like a little uh, animation that showed like the iron like spinning in there. I think that could be really cool, but uh, ultimately unnecessary and probably just uh, adds to the frame rate lag. But Nevertheless, let's go ahead and grab ourselves uh, another one of... Oh, that's the wrong one. I'm a fool. I need one of you. There we go. Nice. Okay, hopefully we don't need too much uh, blaze powder in today's episode. But again, it's super cheap to make. So let's grab our clay. Where did I put the clay? There it is. And we'll throw that in there. That's going to get us our first um, hopping bonsai pop in just a second here. Whilst we wait for that to do its thing, uh, let's go ahead and do what we were doing before. Auto sifting. Here we go. So... Two pistons should not be too difficult. Grab some cobblestone real quick. Uh, also, I don't think the stone gears are too bad. They're not. They just require a bunch of sticks, which is also fairly easy for us to do. Um, also, chat, am I losing it? Or Because you can do... There are a few recipes here you can do with wood, right? Like, you can do this to get oak chests. I could have sworn that you used to be able to do this to get sticks. Is that not how that works? I thought that, I thought that did work. Try two speed upgrades in one furnace. That is a good idea. Also, I didn't put any fuel in there. Whoops. Let's have a look here. If I put another speed upgrade in there, then let me quickly go grab some more iron. Does that, in fact, go even faster? I don't think so. I think it's... I think it's like, in, in the previous episode, we tried doubling the double, right? We tried putting in two all processing upgrades. I don't think that 
It recognizes more than one of any particular upgrade. So I think this is kind of the max speed that we can get with the Emerald Furnace, obviously without upgrading uh, to the uh, the next tier of Furnace, which I think is the Ender Pearl Furnace. So for the time being, I think that's the best we can do. Uh, the Blood Moon is rising, which does scare me a little bit here. Hopefully it should be fine. I don't think we have any uh, areas of the island that are not well lit up. Um, if I press F7 real quick. Yeah, we've got torches pretty much everywhere. So I don't think mobs are going to spawn, but we do want to get mobs spawning, hopefully, before the end of today's stream, because we need some mob drops uh, to kind of progress forward, especially uh, in the realm of auto-sifting. But uh, now we've got the auto-sifter, we also need to go ahead and, if I consult with my quest book, we need another stone axle, I think, and then a water wheel. Water wheel. So this thing is pretty neat in that it allows you to auto sift so we need a lot of a lot of stone gears and a lot of stone axles okay that's fine um it's pretty neat it allows us to set up auto sifting without having to go through like any super expensive uh, mods which is really nice but the penalty for that is that it is painstakingly slow like horrifically sl uh, slow and you'll see in just a second uh, kind of just how slow it is uh, oh my goodness we need so much cobblestone for this kaboom Capel and one more stone axle here after we get some more stone. No, one more stone axle. More stone rods. Come on, Isaac, you can do this. Yeah, more stone. Hold on, chat. Hold on. Hold on. There it is. All right. Quest complete. So, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the way that this works is we're going to go ahead. We're going to need a bucket of water, which we have. And it's going to be a little awkward trying to demonstrate it on these sieves because there's like nothing beneath these sieves, like there's no platform beneath them. So real quick here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab two sieves, just kind of show off uh, that it works with more than one. And essentially what I'm going to do is kind of set up like a little bit of a, a testing zone because again, I don't think we're going to use this long term simply due to the fact that it's very, very slow. So... The way that it works is we throw down the water wheel, like so. This is going to provide the, uh, this is kind of going to power the whole operation, right? We're then going to have the axle coming out of the water wheel, like so. And then the auto sifter either goes down this way. Yeah, that's correct. You want the auto sifter to connect to the axle like this, right? And then you want to make sure you put your auto sieves on top of this here. And you'll see that kind of connects up like that. And it does work with multiple sieves. You'll see if you do that, it does connect up uh, like that again. And if I go and grab a uh, third sieve, you can do this all the way up to like a five by five uh, area, which is pretty cool. So if I throw this guy down like so, we fill all these up with uh, any kind of mesh. For now, we're going to use iron stiffened meshes. Um, and I believe that the water wheels are not like super sophisticated. I think all we have to do really is kind of, it's either put the water here or here. Let me see if I can get this right. Like it might be there. Yeah, I don't think we need this here either. We could do this and that I think would still work i don't know if this is the optimal setup for this by the way feel free to correct me uh, if i'm wrong in the twitch chat but that is now spinning and if we were to go ahead and put something in here so for example if we were to grab some of our non-existent gravel so if we were to quite very quickly go ahead and hammer down some cobble into gravel and then quickly craft that up and stick it in over here what you'll see is that very 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 slowly Hold on, have I done this wrong? Because usually it shakes. Like if it's working, it shakes. I don't think this is correct. Am I, have I put this down? The, oh, <laughs> look, I think this is the back end. I think it goes here. Again, not like that. I think it goes not like that either. I think, chat, that it goes like that. Look at that, it's spinning. Okay, right. <laughs> Ignore what I did previously, chat. We're going to get rid of these meshes. We're going to get rid of this. We're going to move this all over here. So we're going to throw down the auto sifter. It's going to go right about there. That is now correct because that is spinning. Fantastic. We're going to put the sieves on top. You know it's working when they start to shimmy. All right. <laughs> when they start to shimmy like this, you know that you have done it correctly. So let's go ahead and throw in our iron stiffened meshes. And now if we throw in our gravel, you'll see it at work. So you'll see... Hopefully that's not too horrible to look at. But like, if you look at the line, like by the top of the sieve there, you'll see that it is slowly but surely working its way down, right? It is doing its job. It is sifting just really slowly. You'll see it went down just a little bit there. That's crazy slow. Um, so people are telling me more water wheels. So if I put more water wheels down, is that going to speed up how fast this works? And I'm assuming the water wheels just go in series here right like we just put another one behind this and then have them continue on like that let's try it it pains me that these are not in time like that they are spinning at different speeds 
But like, it's still so slow. Like, it's still so <laughs> very slow. More water wheels and more water in each wheel. All right, so I also want to put down, I want to make sure that every, like every um, wheel gets a block full. Is that right? Because this one's definitely going the fastest, right? Get rid of these out of my offhand here. You can see we finally managed to sift something. Like, we got some resources here. And the cool thing is that it is um, automatable, right? You don't have to manually put the gravel in like I did just a second ago. Uh, let me quickly get rid of this excess cobblestone. Um, but what you can do is if you have a hopper, you can just feed the gravel into this bottom section. Not like that. Let me make a hopper real quick just to kind of show you how it works. But if you make a hopper, you can just feed whichever resource you're trying to make into, or you're trying to sift even, uh, into the uh, the bottom bit of the auto sieve and it will just kind of automatically uh, pump it in there which is real nice so if we go ahead and grab you and then just stick that down right about i think i guess here for now would work uh, and we do this you'll see it's taking that gravel it's putting it in there and then it's going to put it in the sieve which is pretty cool Anyway, this is the uh, the auto sifting setup that you can use with the water wheels uh, from Ex Nihilo Creatio. We're not going to use those. Um, we have gone ahead and completed the quest there, so we can go ahead and claim our uh, RAK real quick. But, you know, we're probably not going to go with that because uh, we do have in this pack uh, mechanical users from X Utilities. And if we get this thing, uh, it will save just substantially faster and just be better all around, right? The unfortunate thing is to make this, we need one resonating redstone crystal. To make a resonating redstone crystal, um, we need an ender shard. And the ender shard, of course, requires some kind of ender pearl. So the next thing I guess we're going to have to go ahead and do is, well, take this thing down, but then also uh, look at making ourselves a mob spawner. Uh, the good news is, as I mentioned earlier, we do already have a vacuum chest from Ender.io. And so collecting all of the mob drops that we get from a mob spawner should be pretty easy. So we should be able to kind of set up a nice uh, automated mob farm kind of earlier than we normally normally would be able to in, in this kind of mod pack, which is pretty nice. All right, so I'm thinking, chat, that I'll probably... Well, first of all, I want to... First of all, I want to get rid of some of this trash in my inventory because we've got so much nonsense just kind of clogging up uh, my inventory, and I do not like it one bit. But uh, we'll clear up my inventory a little bit here. And then I'm thinking I'll just grab some more stone. I kind of want to keep um, any more building that I do today in line with this kind of like initial base design that we got going on and so uh, we do have the clay now actually for our bonsai pot so if we do something like this and then i believe all we have to do is i can't remember if you do this or if you actually like put a hopper with it i think it actually does require a standard minecraft hopper so if we just really quickly get ourselves one of those and then i think it's just this and this it is nice and then all we have to do is uh, i'll make a new chest for this Simply due to the fact that if we uh, if we put it on this one, it's going to fill up real quick. Uh, and so for now, we'll just do something like uh, we're kind of in our space. Uh, temporarily, I'm going to put it like here with the hopping bonsai pot on top. That does require a little bit of dirt, which hopefully uh, we have. We don't. We don't have any dirt. Oh, that is a pain. Okay, so given that we have no dirt, instead, what we're going to do, we're going to throw down our stone barrel. We are going to grab some of our many, many saplings, and we're going to quickly whip up a little bit of dirt here while that's doing its thing i think my chisel is almost broken it is like that's not gonna last us too much longer whatsoever so i'm gonna grab another one of those real quick we could make a diamond chisel uh, but the diamonds are a lot more precious at this point in time and we like getting iron is so ridiculously easy right we've got so much iron uh, in this chest over here i'm not too much uh, too worried about being like hyper efficient on uh, on that kind of stuff but uh, just gonna go ahead and grab some more of this uh chiseled stone dent which is what i'm using uh, on the floor here uh, hopefully our dirt is done it's very almost done kapow we can then throw that in like so drop in the, uh, the sapling and kapow look at that we have automated wood just ready for us to go i love it I freaking love it. So, for those who don't know, that's just going to go ahead and it's going to grow a tree. And then when it's done, it's going to output, hopefully, the tree? Wait. I don't have to cut this, right? Okay, no, it worked. <laughs> All right. I don't know why that took so long to uh, to kind of get it, do its thing there, but... All right, that's fine. 
Um, so let me go ahead and open up the quest book here real quick. We did complete a quest there for making uh, both the basic bonsai pot and the hopping bonsai pot. That's some more RAK uh, in the bank for us. That's 20 in total. Um, not going to buy any more loot chests just yet. Kind of want to try and save as much money uh, as we can. But what I am going to do is I'm going to find the center of our platform. and I'm going to build out about 25 blocks-ish uh, in this direction to set up uh, a pretty basic mob farm. So before I do build the mob spawner, we kind of want to figure out what we're going to use to kill our mobs, what we're going to use to move our mobs, and what we're going to use to collect the mob drops. Thankfully, the final question has been answered for us. We have the vacuum chest ready to go. But as for killing the mobs and as for moving the mobs, that's a very different question. So I think the easiest way for us to kill the mobs is probably going to be spikes from X Utilities 2. These things are super cheap to make and get the job done. Um, I think a more long term solution might be like the mob grinder from mob grinding utilities or the mob masher even uh, it's a little more expensive does require some diamonds a block of redstone and like uh, quite a bit of iron uh, the upside to this is that much like the spikes it doesn't require any power whatsoever it just runs off of a, off of a, of a, of a i can't say it it just runs off of a redstone signal um, which is pretty cool to require any redstone flux whatsoever um, but it allows for upgrades later on down the line like if i go to at mob grinding utilities here you can see we can put in uh like mashing upgrades we can put in looting upgrades fire aspect upgrades smite beheading all that kind of stuff uh, which will make them die faster it'll make them drop more loot so i think we might want to go uh, with this kind of splurge a little early on on our mob killing method just to get uh, a little bit of future proofing done and we do already have quite a few diamonds so why not uh, we got two uh swords which is good we also need to get ourselves a block of redstone which we should be able to do just fine like so uh, and then we also need three diamonds a block of iron and some iron spikes which means we need even more iron swords oh my goodness we need uh, at least six more of these i really do wish that like unused tools would stack like if you could uh if you hadn't used a tool yet i wish it would stack unfortunately not the case in uh, in this game that we play but that's fine we'll go ahead and grab a couple of blocks of iron get ourselves two lots of iron spikes or oh, we're, we're running out of inventory space very quickly and i am really I'm realizing i did just put some uh, an iron sword in there not my intention capel and kaboom and i think that's all of it nice but the next problem that we need to try and solve now that we've got the mob masher is what we're going to use to push the mobs right like and we've got a couple of options again uh, in this uh, area we can use uh conveyor belts you know we can use these we can use vector plates which are also conveyor belts um we could use fans i think fans again might be a good idea for us here we can use the ones uh, from mob grinding utilities unfortunately uh, you can't make any of the fan upgrades without having feathers and we don't have any feathers just yet nor do we have any chickens to get feathers nor do we have the ability uh, to make these uh, chicken seeds to get feathers and so i'm not entirely certain on what the default distance is on a mob fan here. I think it's about six blocks. I'm gonna make one real quick, uh, just to get an idea of how far it pushes. If it is six blocks, I think we could probably make that work and then maybe upgrade it later on down the line if it's uh, if we wanna make our mobs wanna bigger. And then let's see here, because the, the, the vector plates are pretty easy to make, but they are definitely more difficult to make than this was. So I'm kind of hoping here that this is good enough at least for the time being. So if I go ahead and turn that on, hopefully it doesn't push me so far as to, off, to go off the edge. It doesn't. All right, it pushes me like what? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe six or seven blocks. Sure, that's fine. All right, I like it. I like it. All right, so we are going to need a couple of those. That is fine. Again, we've got quite a bit of redstone. That's all good. He's going to fall off. I have no intentions of falling off this platform, my friend. That is another thing that I would like to get uh, into this stream if possible. I'd like to try and get towards uh, a jetpack, if at all possible. Uh, the first tier of jetpack is not particularly hard to make. Uh, the most difficult thing I think is probably just going to be get, like setting up power for it. Um, and it's just it's a little bit tedious to craft. But for the most part, it's not too difficult to make. And so I am thinking about getting one of those today just because we do have... Like, we got more holes in the island now. You know, like, stuff like this that I could see myself accidentally falling down um, at some point in the near future. Hopefully, that's not the case. We've yet to die, which I'm very happy about. And so, hopefully, we can keep that up throughout the course of the series. Um, but let me quickly go ahead and eat some cooked apples here. And then let's see about building this mob spawner real quick. So, we've got four fans. Like... I kind of want to make a decent-sized spawner, but at the same time, if we, if we can't make any width upgrades... We really can only make this like four wide. 
for the time being, which is not the best. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Like, we could have... We could have another fan, right? Like, we could have a fan that pushes them down here and then have another fan kind of, like, here or maybe one further back that pushes them into a corner. That would... Or maybe have, like, one fan on each side, you know, that pushes them together. Like, that could work. Although, I don't know. I feel like having fans at the opposite side would, like, would break. For now, I'm going to go with... The, the only thing I don't like about having, like, a fan that pushes them to a corner is that it's not symmetrical. But I think for the time being, we'll go with uh, function over... Like how it looks. We'll just make a, a mob spawner that works and then we'll worry about how it looks in the future. And so for now, what I'm going to do, chat, is I'm going to make another one, uh, another two even, of these mob fans, which thankfully are pretty easy to make, uh, but only if you have cobblestone. Uh, and by that, I mean normal stone. We do have more slabs there, which, which is nice, but we do need uh, just a little bit more. So capel and kaboom. We'll take two more of those. And so one of these is going to go at the back. And what is going to go at the side? I think this should work. So we're going to have one here just to fill in the line. And then we're also going to have one here. So all the mobs should be pushed forward and they should be pushed this way, right? That's the plan. And then hopefully we can just have like a mob masher there. And I think every mob should hit that. Maybe the spiders might move above it, but hopefully eventually we'll, uh, we'll hit this. Maybe. Uh, we do need our vacuum chest. Now, I'm not certain if vacuum chest can pull through walls. I don't think that it can. Like, the vacuum chest, if we just throw it down here, collects items like that. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think it can collect through, like, solid walls. Like, if I do this real quick, just kind of test it, and I put this here, and then this here, yeah. It, uh, it really does struggle trying to get items through walls. It can't do that, unfortunately. Um, the solution to that would be like an item collector, which is a much better way of doing this. Unfortunately, uh, the item collectors do require ender pearls, and so we can't set that up until we get our first few endermen. Um, so hopefully uh, that shouldn't take too long. I did put one torch on the roof. I think that might actually be enough, but I will go check real quick just in case this works. It grabs through corners, though. Oh, really? I will test it out in just a second. There we go. Yeah, let me give that a uh, let me give that a crack just to see if that does work. Because if it does grab the corners, that would be quite nice. The vacuum hopper also requires ender pearls, unfortunately. Uh, once we get ender pearls, we can switch it out like right away. So like, if we put it here, it can grab that. Okay, that's pretty good to know. So it means that we can, if we want here, put this like again. It's gonna be a bit a bit awful, but we can put it like here. And that means that um, when we cover the front, which we're going to do like this, uh, the mobs will move over, they'll land here, and then the items will be kind of sucked up through the corner into the vacuum chest, right? I don't love it. It doesn't look great, but I think it's going to be practical. I think it's going to work. Maybe. We'll see it. We'll, we'll see if it does work. Uh, so let's get rid of the torches so the mobs can spawn eventually. Let's close this up. Like so. So it should be nice and dark in there now. And then in the interest of my personal safety so that I don't fall off the edge here, I'm going to build like around the base of this because we do need to be able to access the back so that we can uh, turn on the fans. But we also ideally need to be able to access this like uh, vacuum chest, right? Going forward here. So let's, for now, hold down shift so that we do not plummet to our death and just kind of move very slowly around the back here. I really, I hate that I've only half done this with the, um, with the, uh, with the wood here, but it's fine for now. It's fine. Oh man, look at this thing. <laughs> it's so horrible. It looks so bad. Also, I should eat. I also kind of feel like putting like a fence up around this area so that I don't just wander off the edge. 
There we go. All right. So the I'm a little scared of this as well. I'm just gonna do that. Uh, so the mob measure is, I believe, right about here. It is nice. So if we go ahead and turn that on. You can hear it doing its thing. No loot, which worries me. Why is there no loot? I guess that guy just didn't drop anything. Huh. That's fine. So we'll leave that like that. I think this is working, chat. I think this is working. Modern art? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we can call it modern art if you want. If that's how we... Uh, if that's how we justify this monstrosity, <laughs> call it modern art. Real quick, let me uh, try and salvage this ever so slightly, right? Let's try and make this look at least not completely horrific. Okay. So now it should not be possible for us to fall down uh, under there, which is great. And we've got kind of enough space to walk around here as well, which is nice. I think that's kind of going to work. Now, let me quickly look at getting us uh, some looting upgrades, because I don't think the looting upgrades are going to be too hard for us to get. Now, uh, they do require um, some form of blue dye. We can use lapis here. Lapis is a pretty expensive way of making this. While we do have a lot of lapis uh, ready to go, I think it's probably going to be easier uh, if we... Tr I don't want lapis here. I want uh, gold. It's probably going to be better if we look at dr getting, like, maybe some uh, Batania flowers so that we can try and get, like, a floral blue dye and then use that instead, maybe. No Interpol yet for the collector? I, <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. We'll, let it. we'll leave it alone for a second. We'll let it do its thing. Uh, let it work and hopefully we'll come back to some uh, some drops. Also, do I need to put uh, a torch down there? I think I might. I think it's probably like a missing torch right about here somewhere just to make sure absolutely no mob spawn whatsoever. Uh, bone meal plus the atomic reconstructor uh, is doable. But we don't have... Um, how expensive is the atomic reconstructor here? It's actually not too bad, right? Do we have any black quartz lying around? How do we get black quartz? Oh, there's smoky quartz that we can make, I guess, and then use that instead. Is that how this is done now? You can smelt smoky quartz? All right, that's not too bad. Uh, how much nether quartz do we have left? We got 25, that's fine. All right, let's do that then real quick. Cause we're gonna need the atomic reconstructor at some point anyway. I might as well get it uh, out of the way nice and early. So go ahead and make some smoky quartz. And then for now, I'm just gonna smelt all of that up into uh into black quartz only really the one that's nice and then we don't have any redstone flux which <laughs> is going to kind of be our our biggest issue here like we've got the atomic reconstructor but no uh, power to go with it uh, what is like the cheapest generator we can make we could look at making the one from you know what sure let's make the one from actual editions just because it's kind of in theme here and we've already got the black quartz ready to go let's make another one of these uh, iron casings and then with a little bit of cobblestone and a little bit of charcoal, uh, this should not be too difficult for us. In fact, we might even already have some charcoal. No? That's fine. Nice. All right. So, for now, we'll throw this here. We'll go ahead and put in uh, just some, like, standard wood for the time being. Like, some oak planks will do just fine. Throw you in there. Um, and then we do need a redstone torch because by default, uh, this guy is set to deactivation mode. We want him set to uh, activation mode, auto pulse. Yeah, pulse, not deactivation. Otherwise, he keeps sending out lasers uh, at every chance he gets, regardless of whether or not uh, there is anything there, which is a massive waste of our resources. We'll quickly grab a pressure plate, throw that down in front like so. And then we do need a lens of color which I probably should have looked at the rest before before we made this, uh, because the lens of color is what allows you to uh, actually change the dyes. Uh, the lens of color is just black quartz with glass, which is very nice. I, must, I assume this is with, like we zap it, maybe? Let's see. So uh, sand we do have. We've got an abundance of sand. Nice. We'll go ahead and craft that back down and smelt that into a nice amount of glass, which we might end up using for some building at some point. That'd be quite nice. Uh, so do we do this? We do, nice. And then we can put that, right click to put that on the Atomic Reconstructor. And so now, if we throw a die in front of it, so we could use Lapis, but we can also use Bone Meal here. If we throw Bone Meal in front of this, and let me think, I probably want to get like 32 if I can. 
I don't know how many cycles it takes to get to blue. Wait. Chat. I know I've already done this. This is just going to give me lapis, right? <laughs> it's, just, it's just a long, convoluted way to turn bone meal into lapis. Like, all right. <laughs> sure, why not? For some reason, I really thought... My brain was telling me for a second that that was going to give me uh, blue dye for whatever reason. But yeah, that's just a, a way. That's how you get lapis, guys. Like you can turn bone meal into lapis with a couple of uh, a couple of zaps of the atomic reconstructor. Fun fact. Um, all right. What was I after here? I was after at mob grinding utilities. I would like uh, these luck upgrades. So we do need gold nuggets. That's why we have uh, these golden ingots ready to go. Like so. That should be more than enough. Let's get eight of those i think eight on oh, a no, ten is the max so we could get uh, a little bit more here but now if we put these uh, into our mob masher they're going to get significantly more loot look at that already working like a charm so we're going to throw in those looting upgrades i i'm actually you know i'm quite tempted just to go ahead and make the final two just to get it up to uh to ten real quick because why not and we've already used lapis we can go get some more as well yeah, like, we don't really need that lapis, I don't think. We don't need as much of it as we have right now, at least. Um, and then I don't think that these other two, um, or these other drops even, are that expensive either. Like, the uh, the sharpness upgrade would be quite nice. It would kill the mobs faster. That just requires really a large amount of iron. Fire aspect, I don't think, is useful. Bane of the arthropods could be interesting, but we do need spider eyes for that, so we have to kill spiders uh, to get better at killing spiders. But, uh, you know what? Let me try, let me try and, like, max this out real quick here. By max it out, I mean I'm going to put uh, sharpness upgrades in here. Uh, I do want to make another chest real quick, just to kind of temporarily uh, dump my inventory here. Like that. Uh, and then I want a lot of sticks, and I want a lot of iron. So, you can put up to 10 in. That means 10, that means 40 swords, which means 80 ingots, which is actually not too bad whatsoever, considering how many uh, iron ore pieces we have, and considering every single one of these is very easily duplicated in our uh, standard furnace. Like, 80 iron is really not that much whatsoever which is really nice. Uh, get storage draws for the loot banks. That is a fantastic idea. I think I definitely will start. I'll put storage draws over here to kind of start to uh, to collect all of this stuff. Uh, we are already getting loot bags, which is real nice. And also a bunch of XP already, which is very nice indeed. Let's see if we get anything good here. Uh, we got some lorem ipsum. A lorem ipsum, sure. And some string. We got a music disc. Oh, lovely. My favorite. Uh, two rare loot bags and another uncommon here. Some melon seeds, another lorem ipsum. Hopefully those are useful. Sapling and milk chocolate. Ooh, delicious. And then a small smingot from Nuclear Craft. An enchanted scroll of feather falling allows you to fall slowly. Hold right click to cast this spell. Nether wart, pumpkin seeds, and engineer's blueprints. Holy, excuse me? Right click to cast this spell. Hold on. How does one... Oh? I mean, we wasted it, because now we've got 10 minutes of feather falling for no reason. Feather falling at uh, four? Which we don't need, really, but uh, I just wanted to see how that worked. I've never, I've, I've not used that. Uh, what mod is that from? Coriel Tombstone? Huh. It's actually not too difficult to make, but depending on how difficult this, uh, like, grave dust is. Look at that. Oh. All right, and that is going to get us 10 mob mashing upgrades. Um, it is a blood moon. I don't know if the blood moon affects the mobs that spawn inside the mob spawn. Or I assume it does. Uh, we are going to need to get our tools back. <laughs> Again, I forgot about the uh, the feather falling here. That is fantastic. All right, let's see how well this thing's doing. It might be doing too well. Like, also, I didn't... Wait, did I do this? Wait, did I dig this out? I mean, it makes it a nice hole for me to just kind of dump my stuff in there. But did I do that? I don't think I did that. Now, if you fall off the edge, you will fall very slowly to the nether. That's true. You know, if I do fall, I'll fall very, very slowly, which is nice. All right. So hopefully that's going to do quite well for us. That's going to get us like a nice amount of stuff. We don't need to cover the, like redo the top there for the, with wood, but that's fine. All right. So uh, I think really the next thing we're going to want to do here is probably look towards sorting out all those mob drops into storage drawers, right? Like right now they're all storing uh, in that mob farm, which is all well and good, but uh, that is going to fill up very quickly and then start to clog up and just kind of overflow. And then there'll be items all over the floor. It's going to cause lag. Not a good situation for us to be in. So 
Let us consult with our uh, oak chest here full of oak wood. And let's look at getting quite a few uh, chests, right? Bunch of chests and then upgrading those chests into storage drawers. Um, I probably want to make them two by two storage drawers. Just because I don't think we're going to need that many like full, full fat storage drawers. Yeah, I think honestly, these will be fine for now. What am I missing here? I'm missing more chests. That is A-OK. -okay. I think we'll go for... I mean, eight of these is already quite a lot, right? We might not need that many more, but I'll go and make 12. And then let's see here. I'm, <laughs> I'm already a little annoyed with this feather falling. Like, it's kind of slowing me down because every time I jump somewhere, it takes a little bit extra time to kind of fall. Anyway, so let's go and throw down. I think for now, I'm just going to put these, like, in front, like right here. Um, we could... I don't want to do this. Yeah, for now, I'm just going to do, like, this. And then we'll, we'll replace, like, maybe the center one, or maybe we'll replace, like, a back one here with a controller so we can pump everything in. And that's going to make our lives a lot easier when it comes to mob drops. I don't know how many mob drops there are. There seem to be quite a lot. And you can see already we're getting so many, so many bones and so much gunpowder. Like, I feel like those looting upgrades are really starting to... Uh, to pay off quite nicely. Uh, you could put an anti-barrel for non-stackable items. Excuse me? An anti-barrel? Stores a lot more, stores a lot of non-stackable items. It can store 100,000 non-stackable items. Excuse me? It does require an ender chest. I don't think we yet have an ender pearl, right? Like I, I, unless I'm blind, which I might be. Yeah, we don't yet have an ender pearl, which kind of sucks, but hopefully that will come. Actually, do we have an ender pearl? We've got, oh, we've got zombie hearts. There is like, what's the, um, what's the thing that you can get for a nebulous heart? If we get a nebulous heart, we can turn that into, uh, into ender pearls, which is nice. A hundred thousand types of items. What does that mean though? Like, I assume that means a hundred thousand different items, right? Like, if you have two identical non-stackable items, can it hold both of those in one type? Or does it hold both of those in two different types? Um, also, we are going to need nether rack to do that. Thankfully, the nether is uh, just like a standard Minecraft nether, and so getting there shouldn't be too difficult, and getting us uh, what we need shouldn't be too difficult there. Uh, we do have full leather armor, and so we are just, you know, fully prepared to fight anything that we may face in the nether. Uh, for those of you who maybe missed the last stream, the nether is a little bit nasty, um, in that we start in, like, a fungal area i actually don't know if there's any nether rack near us in the nether but uh i'll try it i'll, I'll take an overworld world apple with me just in case we uh do run into a little bit of uh trouble but so let me go see if i can get some nether rack real quick here because i'm very interested in uh making this anti chest or anti barrel even yes in one slot oh really that's super cool if it holds that many items that's insane like, actually crazy. Jeez. All right. Okay. This is fine. We do indeed have... Uh, have Is this Netherrack? Lively Netherrack. As always, Lively Netherrack kind of scares me. The question is, can you smelt this into... You can smelt it into Lively Nether Brick. Oh, it is usable, though. Lively Netherrack is like a replacement for standard Netherrack. Okay. So I'm just going to mine a little bit of this. I don't want to vein mine it because I kind of don't want to break my pickaxe. I don't want that much lively netherrack. We only really need like six. Okay, so let's see here. I'll start smelting those up. We do still have to wait until we get a um, an ender pearl. So we can't do that just yet. But uh, whilst we're waiting for that, let's look at getting ourselves a draw uh, controller here real quick. This is going to allow all of our drawers to kind of connect to each other, and it's going to allow us to easily pump all of our mob drops uh, into the drawers without having pipes going to every single uh, individual drawer. And so for this, we need some stone, we need another basic storage drawer, which we already got, and uh, we need two redstone comparators, which is just some redstone torches, uh, some nether quartz, and some stone, and then one diamond. That should not be too difficult. We've already got three diamonds. Good stuff. Take one of you. Um, do I need anything else out of here? I don't think that I do, uh, because all of our nether quartz is over here, like so. And then redstone, we already have. We're running a little low on redstone, right? Like, we're down to under 10. We're down to 10 exactly, 10 redstone. Uh, and we do need to spend, like, I think another five here to get us the six we need. So we might have to do a little bit more dust sifting uh, in 
just a second if we want to get uh if we want to do anything else with redstone today, which we almost certainly do. Uh, let's also go ahead and start smelting up some more stone. We can throw that in there. Uh, let's throw some fuel in there as well. Like right now, this guy doesn't have any fuel and is thus completely useless. Do we have any ender pearls? Like as soon as you get ender pearls, the pack becomes so much easier. You can see already we're starting to fill up on uh, on trash here. But like as soon as we get ender pearls, we can jump into X Utilities Grid Power. We can look into uh, getting the Mechanical User, the Resonating Redstone Crystal. We can get the Advanced Item Collector to make our collecting much more easy. Uh, we can get the draw. Con we can get the um, Anti Barrel. We can get all this kind of stuff. Like once we have the uh just like one or two ender pearls but it's getting those first few ender pearls it's going to prove like the trickiest part of uh, of our journey here all right where is where are my drawers there they are i only need the one and then what else were i missing here uh, oh i need to make the two comparisons right that's why we're doing all this stone this thing is so much slower like geez it's so slow compared to the emerald furnace holy heck like i knew it was slower but i didn't realize it was so much slower like flipping heck it's very slow I'm going to swap these over. Like, wow. What is the speed on that iron furnace? 170 compared to, I think, 60. So it's like three times slower. Jeez. Um, I think I'm going to put the controller right about here because, like, the good news is that once we have um, an item collector or even an advanced item collector, we can just put it directly onto the draw controller. We don't have to worry about uh, pumping our items from, like, the vacuum chest over into the draw controller. We can put an item collector directly onto the draw controller and it will distribute those items into uh, the storage drawer. I guess the only problem there would be uh, like if we wanted to use the anti-barrel, pumping all of the resources into an anti-barrel might be a little bit more tricky uh, if that is the case. But either way, it would be quite nice. At this point, chat, I think all we can really do here is, is kind of just wait and see if we get ourselves a uh, an ender pearl. Like, I don't think there's a whole lot we can do to speed that process up. Hopefully, when we do kill an Enderman, we maybe we'll get multiple Ender Pearls because we got that looting upgrade. Uh, we will see. For now, let's go ahead and take a look in the quest book. Uh, let's complete the quests that we have already done here. We've done quite a few of them, actually. So we got quite a nice amount of, uh, of R.A.K. I think we've also, we've done this mob mashing uh, quest, but we haven't uh, been rewarded for it because I think before you can do that, you have to do the mob farming quest. So we actually have to manually kill uh, one of each of these mobs here before we can do that. Um, but we've got 25 RAK there. We've got 25 RAK there. I think I, I am quite tempted to buy a loot crate. I think I'm going to try buy an epic loot crate though. Oh, that one needs 40. What does a legendary loot crate need? It needs 80. Oh man. You know what? Let's do it. Let's gamble. Epic loot chest. Boom. I'm a gambling man. Here we go. Epic loot chest. Chat, this better be worth it. All right? This better be like 85 nether stars. Okay? Boom. Three printed <laughs> circuit boards from New Craft. Again, much like with the extract speed upgrades from earlier, I feel like these will be useful at some point, but right now they seem fairly underwhelming. But again, I'll probably useful in the future. <laughs> it would have been nicer to get something a little bit more useful right now, but that's fine. Um, let's see here as well. We should probably grab these loot bags because these loot bags could contain um, ender pearls, which would help us tremendously. Also, these they give you just so much XP. You can shift click, by the way, uh, shift right click to like eat a full stack of those at once, which is really nice. And then let's see here. So we've got um, a squid beak, two more spider eyes, and a friend of pearl, which I think might substitute as an ender pearl. Oh, it totally does. Nice. And then we've also got another loot bag here, which contains some more spider eyes, coal, a music disc, gold, and oak saplings. All right, nice. Okay, that's all we've got for the time being. So we do have one ender pearl here. Where do I want to put my first ender pearl? I think... The Enderman in your mob farm stole the wood earlier and are now chilling in the opposite corner. Really? Let's have a look. Let's go. Let me check this out. In the opposite corner? Like, how are they... How are they doing this? Yeah, no, there's... <sighs> oh, gosh, dang it. No! No! I was so hoping we wouldn't die today. I was so... I it was to my own spawner as well. Gosh, dang it. Uh, okay, let me get my stuff back here. Let's let's close that up. So the, the good news is that 
the, 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 the spawner is fine. Like, the Enderman are still there. Now that we've got the sharpness upgrades, I think the Enderman will die before they can pick things up. Gosh dang it. It took... Oh my goodness, look at this. One death. How long did that take? Number of deaths. Uh, not number of deaths. I want to see time played. I haven't played nine hours of this pack, but... Man, jeez. I love how they've added jumps now as well. Like, I don't know what this is about. Apparently I've jumped 859 times. I kind of wish they had like a jumps per hour spec as well. That'd be interesting to see. Oh man. Well, gosh dang it. Killed by a prank. You got me, chat. <laughs> you got me. Gosh dang it. All right. I'm going to very quickly uh, sieve some dust because uh, the next thing I think I want to work on here is probably to try and get um, a jetpack of some description, right? Uh, we've already died. So, I mean, you know, if we die again, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world now. But hopefully, um, once we get a jetpack, we won't have to worry about falling off the edge. Um, also, yeah, I do want to use probably my first enderpearl here to get... Oh, I'm, I'm a complete fool. I meant to use a hammer there. Um, I do want to use my first enderpearl, I think, to make um, some ender shards to uh, to get the mechanical user up and running, because that's going to allow us to automate sifting, which is just going to make our lives a whole heck of a lot easier. So let's make sure we use the right tool this time, Isaac. Um, so do I have to reapply my, um, my totem now, my charm? I've got a haste already. Like, do I put... Magnetize went on there, I guess. That's nice. All right. I don't know how much redstone we're going to need for this. Let me check real quick, actually. Let's have a look. Uh, so we've got 28 already, which I think is probably going to be enough. So I want to make a mechanical user. To make this, we need a dropper, which is one piece of redstone. We need a lever, which is no, no redstone, and then four redstone for this. Uh, so it's actually, like, super easy. Honestly, we probably don't even need uh, much more at all. Uh, once we get our second end of pearl, though, which maybe we'll have, I'm going to go check. First of all, I'm going to dump some of this inventory uh, into my, like, sifting chest here, aka pretty much everything other than the redstone. Uh, but if we get, like, a second end of pearl, we can make another item collector, and that item collector can go uh, next to the sieve as well, because we do, of course, need a way uh, to collect all of our drops once, uh, once we get them, once we start auto-sifting uh, all of our stuff. Another end of pearl would be nice. An overgrowth seed is nice to have nonetheless. And then, I'm not super interested in the music discs, but these look like custom music discs. Maybe we should get, like, a, a jukebox, just so we can kind of hear some of these. Like, we do have a couple of what look to be custom music discs at this point. Like, these is, this one's also from Nuclear Craft. Jukebox. Is it worth a diamond chip? The answer is almost certainly not. But, at the same time, what kind of Twitch streamer would I be? if I didn't waste my resources for entertainment, right? Let's see here. So, do I have any... I've got, I don't, I'm not bothered about the standard Minecraft music discs. Like, those are probably normal. Just in case this is off. All right. This is where I get like I get copyright strikes on YouTube now for this music. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't mind it, honestly. Let's go check our. Oh, we got twelve feathers though, so we could uh, we could increase our mob farm with the feathers now, which is nice. I'm gonna take some of this stuff out again just to kind of free up some space here. It's got quite, it's got, it's got quite a beat to it. I don't, I don't dislike it. Let's listen to this other one real quick. Oh, that's a lot more upbeat, a lot more chipper. All right, <laughs> I'm going to turn this down just because that's loud. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay, is there a jukebox? There is. Oh, I have to re reset. Yeah, sure. There we go. All right. <laughs> well, that's playing away in the background. Let's have a look at this mechanical user, shall we? So, gosh, dang, it feels like... Is it just me or is it like... Oh, the sound does get quieter there. It felt like there was no difference in, in sound quality to me for a second there. Like between 110. 
But uh, let's get the friend of Pearl. Uh, we do need to get, if we're going to make our mechanical user, we do need a glass cutter, which is uh, just a stick and three iron. All right, that's easy enough. That gets us a glass cutter. The glass cutter with the friend of Pearl, hopefully get, excuse me, does this, oh, it does, ah? Can you not use the glass cutter with, does it have to specifically be an ender pearl? Is this the only recipe in which an ender pearl, like a friend of pearl cannot be used to make an ender pearl? Really? Really? You're gonna, you're gonna cut, you're gonna stifle me that way again. You're gonna, you're gonna do me like that. Oh, what? I can craft a friend of pearl and four nether quartz into ender crystals. And then I think I can craft four ender crystals. Oh, I mean, fine. You know what? This is extortion right here. They're extorting me for my nether quartz. For my plentiful nether quartz bounty that I apparently maybe don't have. Yeah, I have some here. This is extortion chat. Plain and simple. Price gouging on in the, in the pack's name. But here we go. He's done it. All right. Finally, some shards. We can craft those shards with some redstone to get a resonating redstone crystal. Um, I then do need one piece of cobblestone to make a lever. Like so. And then what am I missing for the mechanical user? I think that is pretty much everything. I do need a dropper. Again, super easy. Boom and boom. Nice. All right. Uh, so, 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 so. Now, really, I guess we want to put this kind of underneath the sifts here. The, 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 the sieves. I guess eventually I should probably build. And by eventually, I mean fairly shortly. I should build a platform underneath our underneath this area here, so it's easier for me to like, kind of pump things into the mechanical user. But for now, we'll do something like that. Uh, we'll put in like all this dust, like so. And then I think we want to just activate item with block, I think is what we want. And we want to put our sieves back down, like so. Replace the meshes, like so. And there we go. We have automated sifting. I'm not quite sure why these ones are not going. I'm just going to quickly run through a cycle. There we go. Now it's working. And look at that. Like compared that Compared to the, the sifting at the start, it's so much quicker. Like, it's still not fast, right, by any stretch of the imagination. That's far from quick. But it is much faster than it was at the start. If you saw the uh, the auto-sifting we did at the, at the beginning of today's stream, it was painfully slow, right? Like, it was really, really, really slow. Like, this one is, is much, much nicer now. Um, I am going to try and stop this, which might prove difficult now that I've, like, locked that underneath there. Um because we can't really start to collect any of these resources until we get uh, some kind of vacuum hopper or some kind of like item collector, which hopefully we can do fairly soon. Like the idea is that we will get ender pearls out of our dropper. Again, still no ender pearls. We got some, uh, we got a witch hat, which I'll happily wear because it looks, can I put this in my bauble slot? No. Can I put the other witch hat in my bauble slot? No. Okay. I have to wear them on my head head. Which one looks better? Hold on. Got this one. And we got this one. For some reason, this one looks bigger in my uh, in my inventory, but then this one is actually bigger. So we're going to go with that one, I guess. Um, and I guess whilst we wait for that to finish, we should probably look towards um, pumping resources from here into here then, I guess, which really isn't going to be too difficult for us. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and use like a transfer that I reckon. Uh, transfer... No, let's see here. So, uh, fairly simple stuff. Some redstone, some pipes. I think the pipes are mostly just um, stone, right? Maybe glass, stone slabs. Let's see here. So, standard transfer pipes. Yep, just redstone, stone, and glass. You get 64 of them, which is really nice. Uh, we do need another standard Minecraft chest. Also, fairly easy to do. Grab some more stone. And I think, chat, that's pretty much the transfer that's done. These are so easy to make. I love it. Uh, we do have a red heart. Do I eat this? I'm a little worried that my first instinct was to eat the heart. Or do I... No, that's my shield slot. I do eat the heart, maybe? Um, Did that do anything there? Oh, I'm not supposed to eat it? Whoops. Um, I guess in the future, I'll save those hearts. But for now, uh, essentially, all we're going to do here is just kind of run this uh, along the back. Like, so actually, just to make it look a little nicer and uh, to, to like avoid any confusion with the piping, we're just going to do it like this. And then pull down from there and along and then like so and so that should start pulling everything from our uh, vacuum chest here over along and into the storage drawers 
not particularly fast, but hopefully uh, it should be faster than not moving it at all. Ooh, Wither Skull Fragments. Oh, so you can actually get Wither Skeleton Skulls from this farm. That's crazy. That's real nice. Anyway, uh, go to the nether and try to get a drop of evil uh, from Wither Skeleton so you can get the Cursed Earth to make the farms mobs uh, spawn way faster. They do, um, and that is something we'll probably look towards doing uh, in the future here. I'm not going to do it just yet. First of all, let me take care of this waypoint. Uh, I'm not going to do it in today's stream, um, but it's definitely something I do want to do uh, going forward there. Um, wait, we have a drop of evil? Wait, what? Oh, we totally do. All right, so, okay, geez. So, <laughs> we can just put down dirt now and we've got, like, a, a cursed a spawner right out of the gate here? <laughs> Excuse me? All right, in that case, then, how big is our... Our spawner's not super big, right? Yeah, dirt is then, yeah, right? So, our spawner's not super big. Our spawner is, like, what? Uh, let me go and crunch some numbers here on how much dirt we need because this should really start to supercharge our spawner quite quickly. It's one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five. Oh, and uh, for those who don't know, five multiply. Oh no, it's wait, it's yeah, no, it's five by five. Yeah, five by five is twenty-five. Uh, we could expand the spawner. Yeah, so expanding the spawner uh, now would just require putting in more, uh, making upgrades to our fans. Like the thing that was limiting us before is that the uh, the fans that we're using there uh, only have a certain range. Uh, now that we've got feathers from our mob spawner, uh, we can go ahead and increase the range of our fans as well to make them significantly larger now so we could upgrade the uh, the space as well yeah so really at this point it's just kind of how fast um, and how much dirt we can make that's gonna limit us so and dirt is super easy to make honestly is there a faster way to make it than this chat anyone know than uh putting resources into the barrel or into a barrel i guess we're gonna make a bunch of barrels again just because they're super cheap and easy to make yeah you, yeah sure instead of doing this manually just to, to have it ready to go for the future I'm going to do a little bit of uh, temporary automation here. I think the best way for us to do this is probably going to be to, uh, be to make a um, a filter real quick for our transfer node. Uh, again, redstone is kind of the uh, the bane of us right now. We don't have a whole lot of it, uh, thankfully. Oh, we got, we got over a stack, guys. We got more than enough redstone. What, Isaac, future-proofing? No. I know, right? You get the job done that you need to get done now, and that's it. You don't, you don't worry about the future. You just do what needs to be done in the moment and let future Isaac deal with deal with the consequences, right? That's my uh, that's my typical plan anyway. Um, yeah, let's pick these up. We could automate like we could automate multiple of them, I guess, which wouldn't wouldn't be a terrible idea, I guess, as well. Um, I think for now. Again, this is probably gonna be moved because I don't love the location of this just yet, um, but. For now, yeah, for now, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put uh, this, like, here, here. Uh, no, I'm going to move these up. I am going to use hoppers because I want to I wanna automate this a little bit more than, than just a base level. Uh, dirt plus gravel equals cost dirt. That's how you get dirt. Dirt plus gravel equals cost dirt. But, like, what? Oh, I guess it duplicates the dirt because you get four dirt. Can you turn normal cost dirt back into normal dirt? Or is it just like cost dirt is dirt? Like what's the, uh, what's the logic there? Oh, you dig it? Oh, oh, okay. I'm going to do, I'm going to do this anyway. I will, well, hold on. I'm going to do both of these things. Okay. First things first, I'm going to finish what I started here. I'm going to try and get uh, my pipes where in the world of my pipes gone there they are first things first i'm just gonna finish this so that we have like automated dirt going forward so i don't have to worry about it so we'll filter saplings like so stick that in there and then we're just gonna run pipes like up and into all of these like so okay that's fine let's go start to automate uh, that for us which is nice uh, let me quickly grab a bunch of iron and also uh, some more chests to make some more hoppers and uh, we could use transfer nodes as well to pull out of the bottom of them um, which i mean also wouldn't be a terrible idea actually it might be cheaper uh, in the long run than making more hoppers uh, it does require a single extra piece of stone which i think we should almost certainly have my inventory is such a mess right now guys i do apologize it's so so very bad but Let's go ahead and uh, make another one of you. And then, 
yeah, for the time being, we'll just go ahead and we'll make another standard storage drawer, like so. Throw that down right about... Uh, I'll go here in just a second. Uh, I do want to be able to... Uh, it's like an easy way for me to get under these now. I don't think so, right? Like, I think... I think I'm just going to have to move them up by one. Flat nodes double the amount. I don't know, I don't know if flat nodes would would help right now, because I kind of want to... Flat nodes would work if I was just kind of moving them all into their own drawer. Like if I was going to pump them directly from the bottom of the barrel into a drawer. But uh, what I kind of would like to do at the very least is do something like this. We're also going to need to get a, uh, a wrench to kind of disconnect some of these extra extra bits here. Uh, how expensive is this thing? Um, not super expensive, but it does require a red dye, which we don't have, but um, thankfully due to some investment in the uh, the early game here. Can we eat this candy? We can. Can, we, can I cook this? I can craft it. All right. Oh, gosh. It's bad for your teeth. Don't eat candy. <laughs> Apparently. All right. Uh, we do have the uh, lens of color, though, so we can go ahead and just zap some bone meal over real quick. My inventory is so full of stuff. Jeez. I need to work towards getting, like, a, either a refined storage or an applied energetic system, like, ASAP. I assume we have both mods installed, right? So black uh, and then red. Nice. Okay, cool. All right, let me quickly get the wrench, like so. That's going to allow us to uh, disconnect. Uh, we don't need to disconnect that pipe, but we can do it like that. And then, specifically, the one that I do want to disconnect is that one right there, like that. And then we're going to have all this pumped down and into a storage drawer right about there. All right, so that should, hopefully, uh, have dirt automated for us in the future. It's pretty slow, uh, all things considered. Uh, like, it's just as fast as this hopping bonsai pots produces uh, saplings, which is probably quite quite slow. But uh, nevertheless, that's going to do its thing. Um, in the meantime, whilst we wait for that to do its thing, let's get a bunch of gravel and let's use the um, the dirt trick, shall we? Because that seems like it's going to be a lot better for us to do stuff kind of right now. So where is my wand? There it is. All right. So this is going to get us a bunch of gravel, which is lovely. And then the idea, I guess, is that we can... Cr oh, gosh, it's so much gravel. <laughs> it's so much gravel. Uh, the idea, then, is that we can craft gravel with dirt to get coarse dirt, and then we just break it. You just... You, you hoe it, and then you break it? Maybe? This is where I've been... I've been baited by chat, and it doesn't work. I hope it works. Come on, please. Oh, it does turn to normal dirt. Oh, would you look at that? And it also gives us uh, the perfect opportunity to use our shovel that's just hiding away because I never use it. Perfect. Here we go. Look at that. Lovely. All right. So that does work, which is very nice. So we can get a lot of gravel this way. It's not particularly, like, fast. I mean, it is quite fast, actually, I guess, like, compared to the, the barrel method. It's not particularly, like, automated method. It takes quite a bit of, of manual labor, but it does get you... A nice amount of dirt. And we only need, what, 25 dirt for now? I'm a little scared of that mob masher, not gonna lie. I kind of want to turn it off, honestly. I'm gonna put a stone here just so I don't... Oh, oh, I gotta turn my fans off. You gotta turn your fans off, Isaac. I'm not gonna die. <laughs> I'm not gonna die to my own mob masher again. Not twice in one episode, chat. Come on now, jeez. Who do you think I am? I'm thinking, do I want to make this bigger before I put the cursed earth down? It probably doesn't matter, right? Like, I feel like we could make this bigger, but I think this is, I think this with cursed earth is probably going to give us more than enough stuff. Like, I don't think we need to get greedy with it. Like, especially given if we chunk load the base and leave it going like over, overnight, I think this would be fine. I don't think this needs to be any bigger. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. All right. Boom. Okay. So already, I think I heard a mob in there, which is a good sign. It sounded like a pig, though, not a less, less a mob. And now the fans, of course, the fans. The fans. Can't forget about the fans. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. 
Do you guys hear that screech? Holy heck. But I think that's working, chat. I think that is working. I think we're good. <laughs> A demon pig. Jeez. Yeah, it definitely works. Like we got we got stuff in there. We're, get, we're definitely getting like more like the fact that we had 10, 10 gunpowder in there, I think just kind of shows how those loot effects are taken into to consideration. Like they're being taken into consideration when the mob is being killed because we're getting much, much more gunpowder per kill now than than usual. Um, I don't think we necessarily need a, uh, a sound muffler. We do have sound mufflers and we could put them down, I guess. But um, given that it's far enough away, I don't think we need to worry about it, hopefully. Um, a dimlet parcel, a bucket and uh, a golden nugget. Would you look at that? Wow. Just what I, just what I wanted. How did you know, game? How did you know? There we go. All right. Holy heck. <laughs> Jeez. I think, chat, that that is going to about do it for today's stream. We got our mob spawner up and running. Uh, it's now actually much, much better than I thought it was going to be um, at the start of today's stream, which is very nice indeed. Not quite sure what our lava charm is going to do, but I'm interested. Uh, nonetheless, hopefully... When we come back for the next stream, we will have more loot bags and, uh, and hopefully more ender pearls as well. Uh, we can set up stuff like a loot bag opener. We can look at making the uh, anti-barrel to hold all of the items that don't stack because we do need to... We're not going to have enough slots in uh, all these storage drawers here. Uh, like These are going to fill up super quick, so we do want to make sure that we... Uh, oh, is that a... Uh, oh, that's a zombie one, right? Not an ender pearl one. Um, so we are going to make sure that we kind of work on making this better and also we don't want we don't really need like slots for wood and cobblestone and stuff even though that wood is gonna get pumped back around again pretty soon here gosh dang it but uh but yeah next time we'll come back we'll look at uh, automating sifting a little bit more kind of trying to get our gravel sand and dust production up and running and automating those uh fully uh we'll look at making our mob farm a little bit more efficient especially on the storage front we might look at getting started into some kind of actual storage maybe applied logistics maybe refined storage do we have at refined no, no refined storage. Okay, in that case, I guess we might look at getting some uh, applied logistics. Um, we will craft bag storage for loot bags. Do not fear. I'll, you know what? I'll put a sign down, guys. I'm not going to do it just yet, but I will very quickly make a sign for future Isaac right here that says, like, loot bag storage plus opener all right done there we go all right so i have this sign ready for me when i come back so i don't forget but for now guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's stream there for now <laughs>